Hi, um, my name is Ben Tran. I'm an electrical engineering major and I'm a sophomore in the Science and Global Change Scholars. And today I'll be talking to you about my practicum, which was teaching robotics virtually to College Park Academy students. So for my practicum, I took the CPSS 240 course offered by the STS scholars. And pretty much this is a service learning opportunity where you're able to teach elementary school to middle school students how to use Lego robotics. For my particular semester, um, I with a group of two other students um, taught a student from College Park Academy. And so each week, we as a group would meet up through Zoom because of COVID not allowing us to meet up in person. And on Zoom, um, the college student would be teaching the um, College Park Academy student about the different components of the robot, like different parts, different motors, sensors. And we'd also teach them how to do programming with them, um, with the robots and how to make the robot move around. And so, um, each, each week would kind of be leading up to this grand challenge at the end of the semester, which was our, which was our end goal. And so for our particular group, um, our grand challenge was to navigate an obstacle course. Um, here's an example from one of our meetings. In this one, we were working with how to get the robot to move in the square shape, as you can kind of see from the diagram um, to the right. And pretty much um, we walked through with the student, like just kind of the mindset because um, all the different nodes that are used for the coding can be kind of scary at first. And so that was kind of one, one of the basic meetings that we would hold. And so what did I learn from this course? Um, there's actually a lot, especially since um, we were online for the semester because of COVID. The first thing I took away from this class was how to teach online. As students, we were so used to like complaining about our teachers and how they, and I, their teaching methods. But when you put yourself in the shoes of the teacher, um, it's a very different experience. You have to kind of adapt to become more engaging or to function or point out your meetings based on ways that are actually like doable um, through an online means. And so with that in mind, um, we also, I also had to work with younger students. They don't really think like college students. So it's a lot to adapt and a lot to try to figure out like what works and what doesn't work. Um, they also don't work, they also don't um, work as fast as you might expect or some of them at least. So, um, being able to like understand the student is really important. And um, in terms of pacing, lesson planning was very, very important for this, um, for this course. Um, each week we had a meeting, we'd have to have a plan coming in with like a, for us, we do a PowerPoint and we'd walk through like different stuff. And so things wouldn't always go according to plan. So these lesson plans that we would do would always be changing and um, always be adapting to try to fit the means of our student. And then the last thing I'd say, I think I took away from this class was um, working as a kind of a teacher group. Um, there's so many different ideas going around as a group. It's, it's, it's kind of like just working with a group in general, but here you're responsible for a student. And so there's a lot of responsibility on your hands. There's a lot of um, work delegation, a lot of sharing ideas and kind of bringing them into fruition, especially through an online, um, uh, in an online environment. So overall, I think this was like a great learning experience. And for people who are interested in maybe taking this class, you don't have to have um, any, any um, robotics background. Um, there, the picture of the of the robot, that was our robot um, that we built through um, training. And that's pretty much all you need. The rest of the stuff is intuitive. Um, it'll be a bit different because of COVID will probably be um, recovered by then. And they might have more in-person stuff. Um, but I still think it was great. And 
if you if you have any questions about it, feel free to reach out to me and ask. Um, with that being said, uh, thank you for listening to my practicum presentation, and I hope you have a good one. Thank you.